Hi everyone. Some were different. Some were. Many have asked me to come along and. Uh, well, basically, to fish a, a trout fishery, and this is probably one of the better known fisheries in the area where I live, here at Law. And you see, it's a, it's a big, it's a big lock. There's boats on it, and obviously there's bank fishing. And uh, well, I'm obviously bank fishing, which I, I mean, I like boat fishing as well, but bank fishing. Is, is much like walking up the river, except the lock is, well, the river uh, is flowing by, the, the lock is there. Now, I spoke to Ross, who runs Haird Law. It's not a deep water, it's only at the deepest point, it's 13 feet, and uh, which is still a good depth, like, but it's a great dry fly water, so. Conditions, uh, actually, actually, for this time of year is really, I like it like this. It's cool. It's more likely the fish are more active than being, if it was too warm, which it can be, especially for the 1st of August. And uh, they're usually suffering from the heat a wee bit. But this year, or the last two or three weeks, we've we had the warm weather. And then, as it's the last two or three weeks, we've had this kind of weather, wind, rain, and, which has basically helped uh, if you've been to fishing, obviously uh, made it much easier, better for the fish uh, when the water cooler. So what I've got, I've got my, I could pick a few rods to fish the water. I've got my 9 foot 5 weight, eh, sorry, 10 foot 5 weight. But anyway, here we are, I'm going to walk. Ross has recommended a fish from the point over here, uh, it's a good area around and all the way down so uh, my intention is to fish a dry fly, he says obviously the fish are keen to rise, um, especially they're rising at night a lot for the what they call the curly bum which is a big big fly, a big midge, curly bum it's called after the egg sac it rolls around the, the back of the body so I'm going to give some the impression of that. I hope that I remember what it looks like because it's 20 past 11. Uh, not at night, obviously. So there's a wee bit of drizzle in the, in the air. Not much. It's to be dry to most of the day, but we are quite high up. I forgot to ask Ross how high we are. But anyway, what I'm, going, I'm doing is just. I could do it anywhere I go, I walk along the bank having a look. And if I do see fish moving, I'm going to set up and uh, we'll see where we go. It's nice and quiet. And you see the, the windmill things. That, there's quite a few of them. There's only a couple of them actually going. But anyway, that's why they're up here. They're up high and there's plenty of wind. Just a nice day. So you couldn't have picked a, a nicer day to come up. For fishing anyway. We'll see how it goes. I'm just going to stand here and put my cast together. Now I'm going to use a tapered leader and uh, add on to it. It's going to be dry and then a nymph off the back. I've got two or three tapered leaders I could use, but I'm going to stick with a shorter one and then use the tippet. Uh, it's down to five pounds. Good thing, we're fishing a big fly and there's a good ripple there. And uh, it's going to sit in the bank. 
as we can. Have a look at the water while we do that. Now, flies, uh, Ross was mentioning, talking about the yellow will being uh, one of the top flies at the moment, top patterns. Jeez, uh, I'm opening the wrong end. How silly am I? Desperate to fish, you see. Never. Tip a little. Let's find the end. There we are. And then we'll, we'll, see, we'll set up and see how we go in. Okay, folks, I've changed to an Oliver merger and I've got. A uh, pheasant tail, uh, basically, this is a... What's a trimmet? A uh, uh, macaw, tied with macaw, blue and yellow macaw. It's a good olive pattern. And really good for... When there's midge coming off, a coloured midge, especially olives. And we've got that off the point. Uh, quite a longish cast. Um, so I'm using my dry as well as a dry. It's on a dropper so it's going to sit nice. It's going to sit well up so I can see it. I'm going to hang the, on the point as the nymph. And I'm going to work my way along this bank. Um, we'll see if we can... Nothing moving, that's why I've got the nymph on the point. Just to see if I can get in just below the surface because there's nothing around the top or rising. I've got a dry fly on to cover that weight, but I've got the wind coming off my back, so it's perfect for getting a long, longish cast. Just allow the, the nymph to settle, and then I'm going to slowly tweak it in. You need a fly on that's going to support the nymph, as well as obviously uh, represent like the curly bum in this case. Uh, basically like a shuttlecock. This one's got a wee bubble in the back. Uh, the CDC, just to help keep it up a wee bit better. I'll we'll work along here, just to see, I may do it a wee bit, it's not, it's not really deep. Just get a wee bit further. Surprisingly shallow, and it's, which is ideal, like, once we if you want two or three foot of water, fish feeding. There we are, we're starting to get a wee bit of depth now. I'm basically just keeping in contact with my flies and watching my, my dry. Obviously, if the fish comes out and taking the dry, if I see the, the dry shooting away or tapping or slowing up. Uh, Chances of fish taking it, taking the nymph, so. You know, we tweak into it every so often. Just to encourage a wee bit more life into your fly. So it looks like a buzzer or a midge. It's hanging about maybe, that's about five foot off the back of it, so it's great, great a distance away, like, but. At least it'll get down. We'll see how it goes.
I think what we'll start to do is work along. Uh, if I see one or two fish, obviously I'll come back. Uh, I can always come back up here. If I'm not seeing any anyway, I'm fishing flint. Let's keep working away. I'm going to change the point fly I fished. I'm going to keep changing the point. The drop of fly I'm going to keep. And the point fly I'm going to change. God, lots of small sedges going off in the, when I'm walking along. So there is. Working a nice wee brown one and and a dark one, a black. So, I'm just going to work on this bank here. Hopefully, we can see one or two flies. You can do this, look. Come on, the small caddis there. There's a There's probably a fly lake around, it's just a, a daddy long legs on the water there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a big daddy just in front of me. I'm just waiting for a trout to come up and have a, a go at it. Crazy geese. That's a good bit.
I've changed the another cast, I've changed the basically a couple of nymphs. Well, I've got a caddis, pupa in the middle, top dropper I've got a dry, uh, and then I've got a, like a basically a midge, long, it's a, it's a fly I like to use when there's large uh, midge coming off, and I've found one or two shucks, if I come across one or two, I'll let you see them, but there's a, there's one, I can get them. I don't know if you can see it, but you see it's a length. This is a large, this is a curly bum that comes off. I mean, that's a big shock, as they call it. I mean, it must be got of an inch long. So these fish have been certainly feeding on these curly bums. I've got an emerger version that I like, uh, and the dropper with the two the flies off it. Um, Oh, oh gosh, that was a big fish there. Stay out of the water. Oh, actually, while I was setting up, two fish rose. Yeah, I've seen three fish the whole of the day, so to see two fish rising one after the other was good. So I may be in a good area here, so I'm going to just fish it for a wee while and see how we get on. Now all I'm doing is, top dropper, I've got a good long leader on. I'm fishing straight through uh, five pound nylon. I'm not I'm keeping it quite fine, and uh, I'm using the top fly as my as my sighter as well as a, a dry fly. So I've got I'm trying to cover everything. If these fish really do start to rise, I'll, I can easily change. Um, but. We'll see how it goes. I've got to try all the methods. Try everything, just try and get it through. It's the fun of fishing, it's just, especially when you're fishing in new water, it's um, basically got to try a few. I mean, I've obviously, these are the methods I'm using just now, I've got many a fish in this. All I'm doing basically is keeping contact with it, taking up the slack and allowing it just to drift just as it comes out, and then um, watching for the either the, the fish come and take the dry or my dry slipping away. It was, you know, it was a that's a wee soldier beetle there that's blown onto the water, so there is the odd fly there. There's another wee fly there, I mean, so it's a good sign. Or just as I say, this this is a good bit so far. There's a wee bit of heat, sun there, so that could be helping as well. Plus I've seen the old daddy long legs getting blown on as well, so... There's one there, actually, as I said that. And, uh, there's another one. So I've got a couple of daddies I could put on. Especially if I see them coming at them anyway. Fish rows there. I'm going to head up to because that's the second one I think I've heard. 
So I'm just going to move up. They have moved up a wee bit here. So as I say, I heard a couple, I seen one fish rise and then I heard another one, so hopefully, oops, the sign may get one or two fish. If we get fish moving then we can, I mean I've got a dry on, uh, but uh, I've got a couple of nymphs off, a couple of flies off the bend, off the, on the point. As I say, there's a few shucks about from the, the hatch. Uh, the curly bum, it's a big, it's a big fly. So, we can maybe, I'll still take a shock, even though there's, the fly's gone. See the odd fly there. If the fish, if I do see one or two fish really moving, I'll just change to a dry fly itself. At least they're feeding fish, that's the main thing. And uh, I'd rather cast it. Like just now I'm fishing blind in a way Let's check my cast, it's always pays to check your cast Spring. There we go. The fish come up and took the dry. So, this feels a, it's a nice fish. Nice rainbow by the looks of it. Let's get some of this slack line on. Nice fish. Finally, oh, well, I've seen one or two fish rise in there, and uh, finally got one to take. Hopefully, we land this fish, you can see it. Oh, it's pulling really well. They want to give in. I'll just take take our time with them. I'm going to be returning the fish anyway, so nice. It's a nice rainbow. Made a mess of my cast, so but if they're going to come up for the dry, I'll just change the dry and then okay, we'll come down to me. There he is, it's a lovely fish, great condition. He's tangled all in island. There we go, Whew. and there's a weight. Still caught in an island, there we go. Anyway, there we are, that was on the, <laughs> as you can see, it was on the dry <laughs> space. It's on the emerger, it was the, the one I put on for the curly bum. So anyway, we'll put a new cast on, I think. Anyway, there we are, so we started, we got a nice fish. Okay, I've just, Put a nymph off the back of the 
the dry as well. This is just the way the caddis, top top or caddis pooper. I think it might just work. Uh, just to give the impression of the the shock of that uh, curly bum, it's certainly worth worth a cast. It's got the fluorescent uh, rib which and it sits just below the surface where I'm finding all the shocks. So the fish will come onto those, they will take them. Uh, I've, I've actually spooned fish before where they were completely full of shocks. So they are. We'll give it a go anyway. Still the dry works, it'll still fish away. Fishman for pillows here. Yeah, so there's still the odd fish moving around, which is that's enough. And they say there's some lovely brownies in the loch. Oh, there's a fish will be out there. I wonder if I can. I could probably cover that, I think, out a good bit here because it is shallow. I'm going to move up a wee bit. That was a nice rise looking at it. So, fish will work against, up against the wind. Then they'll swim up and uh, Can you get a little bit further? That's better. That's probably in line with where I saw the fish. So the flies will drift towards it. The fish there. Just a nice wee nip to the surface that was. Oh, covered it fine. I'm kind of reluctant to move because I'm seeing the odd fish move. I see the odd fly there. Not much smaller than the one I've got on, like. I can easily change the point fly to a smaller dry fly as well. And uh, that's easy to do. Just working my way back to the car now. And uh, I was wondering, there's plenty of fly life in amongst the, the reeds here. So there is. Wait for any rising fish if we, if we could cover.
just heading back to the, uh, the lodge at the, the hair law. Um, I'd got one, I didn't blank, that was the main thing. Uh, there was fish rising, I got the odd, there was fish rising in the corner there. Not a lot, but there was an odd fish rising there and there. I mean, I had chances to cover them, but just couldn't get them to come up. Uh, I tried different flies, I tried, I've tried quite a few different things. And, uh, but I was just kind of half running out of time, I had to have to start working back. So just working along the bank. I thought I saw a fish rising there, but there was, there was a boulder just down there, it looks like a, a, a... I'm not sure if that was a fish. Anyway, we'll work along the bank and see if we can rise a fish. It'd be good to get one or four finished, but anyway. That's uh, just the way things go. I think if you're coming on tonight, it'd be a good. This is where I started this morning and a fish rose in front of me while I was putting my cast on putting my rod up anyway It's just a lovely big head and tail right in front of me So it did I enjoyed the day That's why I've stayed <laughs> And uh, I'll be back up hopefully. If I go, uh, so nice big lock. So lots of features in it. Great banking for walking along and fishing. Well folks, that's me. Uh, I'm just going to call it a day now and head back to the, the lodge and then we'll get an hour's drive or so 
going to happen at home. So I've tried. I mean, I got, got a nice fish. I got a nice rainbow. And uh, which was a good thing. I mean, we got a few hours fishing. So maybe just don't know along. Not seen anything rising since I left the that corner. I'll just keep walking towards the lodge. I'll soon be there. I think that'll do is I'll just reel in just now. It's been good fun. So that's I mean, that's the lodge just in front. That's here law. This cast on. I've had good fun. Uh, we can't always catch, catch and catch. There is days where you can struggle a wee bit, and as the conditions are, they look good. Uh, the fish have not been really on the on the take, so if we get a chance, we'll come back up. I'm sure, we'll catch next time. And uh, it's been good fun, but you can see you can, uh, it's a good path here for walking. And obviously, if you light the boat, you can cover more water with the boat. It's work along the bank. But uh, I like fishing along the bank, personally. It gives you more control of your flies, I feel. Anyway, there we are folks, I hope you enjoy the video when I'm finished uh, editing it. Uh, so, let's see if we've got one rainbow and a nice day's fishing, that's all we need. So anyway, thanks for watching, until the next time.